I'm Sergeant Strange, this is Mike 2. Provide care under fire and move a casualty. Task, perform care under fire, transport and transfer a casualty. Condition, you are a member of a team on a combat patrol that has come under sporadic small arms fire. You witness the teammate in the open receive a gunshot wound to the Great World State, left or right leg. Your teammate has struggled to reach his or her combat application tourniquet, cat, and you see bright red arterial bleeding. No spinal injury is suspected and you are not in a sea burn environment. Standard. Perform care under fire in sequence within three minutes. Transport and transfer in sequence within eight minutes. You must not cause further injury, have no safety violations, and not lose any equipment. Candidate will start from an open position 10 meters away from the first covered position. Time starts when the grader says the fire suppression has been achieved. Bang, 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 when the candidate has demonstrated the proper techniques, bang, bang, the grader bang, will bang. state fire suppression has been achieved bang, bang, or the enemy bang, bang. fire will stop. Bang, 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 bang. Can you uh, return fire? Bang, 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 bang. Can you move cover? No. Can you perform self-aid? No. Candidate states, bang, bang, bang. cover me, grader will reply, got you covered. Cover me. Got you covered. Fire superiority has been achieved. Move the casualty and his or her weapon and mission essential equipment to cover using the cradle drop drag or any appropriate technique without causing further injuries or losing any equipment. With the casualty laying on his or her back, kneel at the head. Slide your hands palms up under the casualty's shoulder getting a firm hold under his or her armpit. Partially rise supporting the casualty's head on her on one of your forearms. You may bring your elbows together and let the casualty's head rest on both of your forearms. With the casualty in a semi-sitting position, rise and drag backwards to the nearest covered position. Administer life-saving bleeding control by applying the cat to the wounded extremity. Expose the room and remove the cat from the casualty's eye pack. Place cat two to three inches above the wound on the injured extremity. Pull the free end of the self-adhering band through the buckle and root through the friction adapter buck buckle. Pull the self-adhering band tight around the extremity and fasten it back on itself as tightly as possible. Twist the winslet until the bleeding stops. Candidate will verbalize this and will ensure not to over tighten if using an actual soldier as a casualty. Bleeding has stopped. Lock the winslet in place within the winslet clip. Secure the winslet with the winslet strap. Assess for absence of a distilled pulse. Candidates should perform and verbalize with proper technique. Pulse must be taken with skin to skin contact and not using their thumb. There is no pulse. Place a T and the time of the application on the casualty with a marker, providing the casualty's eye fact. This can be simulated and verbalized, or a piece of limitation can be applied to the casualty's forehead so each candidate can perform the test. Time and the time to turn to the flood. Transport and transfer a casualty. Move the casualty using a skeco. Prepare the skeco for transport. Remove the sked litter from its pack and place it on the ground. Unfasten the retainer strap.
Step on foot in of sked litter and unroll completely. Bending the sked in half and back roll. Repeat with the opposite end of the litter so the sked lays flat. Hold out the handhold straps for the casualty and drag line at the head of the litter. Place and secure a casualty to a Skedco litter. Place the sked litter next to the casualty so that the head of the end of the litter is next to the casualty's head and place the cross straps under the sked litter. Log roll casualty onto his or her non-cat side in a steady and even manner. Slide the sked litter as far under the casualty as possible. Gently roll the casualty until he or she is again laying on his back with the litter beneath him or her. Slide the casualty to the middle of the sked litter, keeping her, his or her spinal column as straight as possible. Pull out the straps from under the sked litter and bring the straps across the casualty. Lift sides of sked litter and fasten the four cross straps to buckles directly opposite the straps. Lift the foot portion of the sked litter, feeding the foot straps over the casualty's lower extremities and through the unused grommets at the foot end of the sked litter. Fasten the straps to the buckles and check to make sure the casualty is secure to the sked litter. Reassess tourniquet. Tourniquet's good. Suppress the enemy. Candidate will return fire when the candidate has demonstrated the proper techniques. The greater will state fire superiority has been achieved on enemy while will stop. Bang, 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 bang. Fire superiority has been achieved. Candidate cover states, cover me. Greater will reply, got you covered.
Got you covered. Drag the casualty 50 meters to the casualty collection point, CCP, and reassess the cat. Okay, stop. Document injuries and treatment given on Cassidy's TC3 card in IFAX for transport to medical personnel. Remove TC3 card and administrate data will already be filled out. Complete all pertinent entries as full, fully as possible. Front of card, evacuation. Mark an X on the casualties evacuation priority presidents. Date, write date of injury. Time, write 24 hour time of injury and indicate whether local or Zulu. Mechanism of injury, mark X on mechanism or cause of injury. Injury, mark an X on the side of the injury on the body picture. TQ. If a tourniquet is applied to the right leg, write type of tourniquet used in the time of tourniquet application. Back of card. Evacuation. Mark X on the casualty's priority and precedence. Write first responder's name. Print the first responder's name. First responders, last four. Write last four numbers of the first responder's social security number. Attach completed card to the casualty per unit SOP. Do not attach the card to the casualty's body armor as this equipment will be separated from the casualty once they arrive at the medical treatment facility.